a lovely warm summer's evening in July and I'm out camping in a beautiful woodland and it's not just any camp it's my first time trying to sleep in a hammock overnight so very exciting I'm not sure whether I'll get on with it but hey it's worth giving it a go I'm at a place called Beehive Bushcraft, which is in Northwest Leicestershire. And it's a 20 acre woodland where people can come, camp, wild camp, socialize with family and friends. Um, it is a child friendly woodland as well. Um, you can build shelters, you can have open fires within reason um, for a very small fee. Do have a look on Facebook and search for Beehive Bushcraft and you'll find all the details on there. You do need to send a text message to the owner who's a lovely chap called Paul. He's very friendly, very approachable, but do text him if you want to come and use his site and he'll go through all the information that you need. And it's not far from where I live. It's only an hour up the motorway, which is really handy. And it's lovely to be able to camp somewhere where I can just relax. I can be here as long as I want, within reason, of course, and I don't have to worry about being moved on because the landowner's given me permission to be here. And it is a very small fee indeed. I won't tell you how much it costs exactly because um, prices do go up and down and change depending on when you're watching this video. But uh, yes, it was under 10 pounds, we'll just say that. So yeah, it's great. What a wonderful green space. And all I can hear now is maybe a few cars rumbling in the background, birds tweeting breeze through the trees love it absolutely love it um, what I'll do now is I'll take you over to where the tarp set up um, a lovely guy called Paul did help me because I was getting my guy lines and ridge lines all tangled up and it was ah, all very embarrassing um, but he helped me and I got a bit of a free bushcraft tutorial so Paul if you're watching this thank you so much you're a lifesaver right let's take you over to where I will be kipping tonight Ta da Here is my humble abode for the evening. My hammock, my tarp, my ground sheet, all good to go. From this angle, you can see that they are nice, secure straps, really sturdy carabiners there. And I've just pinched my ground sheet from my nature hike tent, just so that whatever is beneath doesn't stick in my feet when I jump out in the night. Let's have a little look inside. We have double zips, don't catch, and then with this bug net or mesh, just flick it over and you can crawl inside. I've got my OEX 300 fathom sleeping bag, I've got my Trekology pillow, and I've got my Unigear uh, air pad, which has an R rating of two. I thought that would be a really good pad to put in there i didn't want the um x bed because that's more of a mummy shaped one uh yeah so that's that's what i'm going to be sleeping in tonight how cool is that i've got my little bag hanging up there on a tree i'll probably bring that underneath when it gets a bit darker Time to try my Moroccan meal. Let's put that on something where I won't burn my hands. I should have used my long titanium spoon, but I don't know, I left it at home somewhere. I'm gonna mush it up. It smells really nice. Lots of lovely spices. And obviously the main ingredient is couscous. And I think there's some apricot in there. I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, that's hot. Mm. it's actually all right i think i got the water ratio right so it doesn't taste like a <laughs> like wall paste um and it's not too watery oh there's an almond in there i've got into my pjs more fed and watered brushed my teeth brushed my hair 
and I'm ready for bed. It's about quarter to 10 and the sun is slowly fading. It's nice and warm. I've crawled into my sleeping bag, but I'm a little bit too warm if I'm honest. And as I look out through the, the mesh, I can see the trees gently moving through the breeze and the odd pigeon here and there. I don't know how noisy the wildlife's gonna get later. But anyway, I'm gonna sign off for the night. I'm just gonna chill here for a bit, read my book. Um, maybe have a little look at the old social media, scrolly scrolly, and I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. Good morning, how are you all? I've made it through the night without any incidents. The hammock didn't come crashing to the ground. I haven't got any backache, I haven't fallen out of it. It's all good. It's now coming up to quarter past seven. I woke up a moment ago with a sparrow jumping up and down on the top of my tarp, which was quite sweet. And now I'm just looking out through the trees. It's very peaceful, very quiet. And yeah, a really positive first time experience of sleeping in a hammock. And now, now it's time to get a brew on. Quite fancy a nice hot cup of tea. Let's give this breakfast a go. So this one is from Tent Meals, which I bought from the Fell store ages ago. Ooh, look at that. Nice big chunky, chunky cherry on there. Not bad, not bad. Not as sweet as I thought it was going to be, but it's all right. I'm going to take the tarp down now. And once that's all packed away nicely, I will show you what the nightcap hammock looks like with its rainfly on um, and show you the product, how it would normally be used. That'll probably take about five minutes just to to get the tarp down and the fly sheet up. Two curved poles at either end. Do be careful with those poles, don't put too much tension in them. And at one end, either side, there are two guy lines to stop it from flipping and moving about. So make sure you do that. This here, these clips that you'll see, is where the rain fly attaches to. I'll show you that now. The black clips attach to the orange pole and that will keep the rain sheet in place. Both hooped poles go through the rain sheet and also the inner as well. Coming over here, you've got a smaller carabiner to add some tension to it and a strap here to, to make it tighter if you want to. There are some additional straps inside, which I haven't done just for quickness. Um, yeah, and also you've got poppers down here just to, to keep it enclosed. We've got zips on either side with Velcro tabs and toggles at the top to keep it open. And then we just roll this back. With regard to the bug net, you can't actually tie that back. There's nothing for it. Um, maybe Mike Cat could have a think about that. Just put some toggles in there. What I do is I just flip it back over itself and that seems to do the job. It's got two pockets on the inside. And there we have it. It's really easy to put up, even I can do it. I might try it next time with the rain fly, just to get a real idea of what, what it should be like. Yeah, I like it.
hashtag LNT leave no trace if you go out camping or enjoying the countryside in a different way always take your rubbish with you do not leave it behind for someone else to move I'm just gonna have a quick look over the area where I had my hammock last night make sure I haven't accidentally left any litter lying around looks all good to me happy with that excellent thanks for tuning in I really do appreciate you staying to the end of the video do consider giving it a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it leave your comments and your questions just below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already I'm going to go off for a little ramble now I won't be recording that bit of my day but thank you once again your support for my channel is always greatly appreciated take care look after yourselves go well rock up and hammock camp yeah